Hey y'all, it's Nasha here and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be an empties video. In fact, we got our empties right here. Sadly, we do not have my Trader Joe's bag. I had to improvise and I just put stuff in this Target bag. But we got a bunch of stuff that I have gone through over the past three or four months. We got some stylers, y'all. It is so hard for me to get through stylers, but we got stylers. We got pre-poos, wash day products, deep conditioners. We got all kinds of stuff in here and I'm just going to pull them out one by one, let y'all know if I like them, if I would repurchase them or if I would pass. But first, before we get into this video, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, so if you're subscribed, you don't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. Also, if you have any questions on my hair, this is, at this point, I don't even know how many days, like day four or five hair something like that and i'll go ahead and link the video for this combo so definitely check it out if you like how my hair looks especially with no retwisting no refreshing just throwing my bonnet on at night and just stretching my hair if it's shrunken or not but definitely check out that video if you're interested and let's just go ahead and get into these empties so i'm gonna go in no particular order the first thing that i have is the chocolate kinks and curls red clay and hibiscus clay wash i talk about this all the time this is one of my favorite 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 clay washes unfortunately if y'all haven't heard the news chocolate kinks and curls is temporarily closing and these are officially sold out. You can't get these anymore until Juanita reopens Chocolate Kinks and Curls. So I'm really sad. I did re-up on some of her other clay washes. And I mentioned that in my Black Friday haul video. So if you want to check that out, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards for you. But yeah, I'm out of this and I'm really, really sad about this. Of course, when she comes back, I will definitely a thousand percent repurchase this. Next, this is a newer product to me that I've gone through. This is the Adwa Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. Y'all, this mask is so freaking good. It's very moisturizing, but also strengthening. It's super thick, so if you've used the Bailment Deep Conditioner from Adrio Beauty, this is way thicker. A little bit goes a long way. It just makes my hair just feel so good and feel balanced, you know, moisturized and strengthened. And I absolutely would repurchase this. In fact, I did repurchase two of these for Black Friday. Adrio Beauty was having a 50% off sale for their insiders, people who are subscribed to their email listing. So I definitely have to re-up on these and definitely recommend you trying these out. You can get this at Adwa's website, just in case you didn't make, miss the sale, you can get this on Adwa's website and you can also get this at Sephora as well. I did go through a lot of leave-in conditioners and one in particular is from Trilux. This is the Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. I think this is like the second or third bottle that I've gone through, which means a lot because I have a lot of hair products. It takes me a while to get through items, so if I've gone through it like once or twice, then y'all know that I love this stuff. It is super moisturizing, okay? It is moisturizing upon application, but I'm telling y'all, let this sit on your hair for about five minutes before you go in with your styler and all of the product will be absorbed into your hair. Your hair will feel like the most moisturized thing ever. It does have a, in my opinion, a nice scent. It smells like Thanksgiving. It's like cinnamony, nutmeggy. It just, it smells really good, but love this leave-in conditioner and I actually do already have a backup of it. So that lets you know how much I love this. Per usual, I went through a lot of deep conditioners. I already mentioned one deep conditioner, but I have like four more that I went through. This one that I have is from Sultanicals. They're, this is their Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp therapy mask. I've learned my hair enough to know that it loves hibiscus. Anything with hibiscus is just really good on my hair. If you didn't know, hibiscus is considered Ayurveda and Ayurveda has been such a game changer for my hair. This is a holy grail 
deep conditioner for me. It's very lightweight, a little bit goes a long way, but it's also super moisturizing. My curls, they just look amazing. They're popping. I feel like uh, the elasticity of my hair is like amazing. This just does so many great things on top of it being super moisturizing for my hair. So love this deep conditioner. Absolutely will repurchase it. I think I do have do I have another one left in my stash? I think I have another one left in my stash, but I definitely will repurchase this if I don't. Next up, we have two of Nature's Little Secrets Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Deep Conditioners. Another Holy Grail deep conditioner of mine. I think these are the last two bottles. No, I may have one more. I can't remember. But obviously, I love this stuff. This stuff is so freaking moisturizing. Once I rinse this out of my hair, my hair feels like butter. It feels so soft. If you haven't tried this deep conditioner, definitely check it out. It is limited edition, but she does keep it in stock quite frequently for it to be a limited edition deep conditioner. So if you didn't pick it up during Black Friday, Nature's Little Secret is always having sales. I think they're having a sale right now for Christmas. So definitely check their website and get your hands on this deep conditioner because it is one of my favorites. Again, another holy grail deep conditioner of mine is from Niche Beauty. This is the Peaches and Cream deep conditioner. One of my absolute favorites. Again, this is a limited edition deep conditioner, so Mish doesn't have it on their website all the time. And I was actually hoping that they would have it on their website for Black Friday, but they didn't. I think they did have some in stock like earlier in like November or October, but I was like, oh, they're going to have it for Black Friday. I'll wait. And the joke was on me because they didn't. I have only one more left in my stash, so I'm really hurt about this but it smells so good. Your hair is going to smell delicious when you use this. It's super moisturizing, makes my hair feel so soft. Mish has some of the best moisturizing deep conditioners I've ever. I feel like my hair is super dry. I reach for a Mish Beauty deep conditioner. So absolutely, once this is back in stock, I will definitely repurchase this, but for now, we just gonna have to savor the one that I have left in my stash. This next deep conditioner is absolutely a very bougie deep conditioner. The lights are super bright so you can't see it, but I'll give y'all a close up of this. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. If you are new to Briogeo, Briogeo is very bougie, okay? Very, very bougie. These products are expensive as heck. I almost didn't want to like it. Like, don't get me wrong, I didn't want to waste my money, but I didn't want to like it so much that I would want to repurchase it. But I really do like this deep conditioner. It is moisturizing on my hair, but it's also very strengthening. I love how my hair feels when I rinse this out. This does have protein in it, by the way. And I just, I really do like this deep conditioner. Now, do you need to run out and get it? Absolutely not. There are other things that are more affordable that work just as good. But if you're ever feeling a little bit bougie, okay, or you're just curious about Brioche products, definitely pick this up. But pick it up on sale. Do not buy this full price. Please don't do it. Do not pay full price for this because I'm pretty sure this is like $38, maybe $40, and it's only an eight ounce bottle. So do I recommend this? I do, but don't pay full price. Don't do it. Speaking of bougie products, we have Olaplex number three. This is their hair perfecter. Basically, they're like bond strengthening pre-poo type of situation this is the limited edition bonus size the 8.5 fluid ounce it normally comes in the three ounce but i do love this stuff i love using this as a pre-poo before i go in and wash my hair i feel like it really does strengthen my hair it really does build up the bonds of my hair i've noticed less breakage using this i really do like this i've gone through countless bottles of this i've gone through maybe like two of the three ounces and now this 8.5 fluid ounce i definitely would repurchase this again try to get this on sale but the limited edition size i have seen it on sephora's website I like how they try to put it on Sephora's website like after they had 
their VIB sale, which is really annoying because I was hoping I would see this on their site and I definitely was gonna purchase it. Didn't see this on the site. I purchased this from Nordstrom, but like I said, Sephora now has this on their site. I do like this and I definitely would repurchase this and have repurchased it, obviously. Next up is another product from Sultanicals. This is the Cheve Risa Butter Shampoo. Every time I use this, uh, it's a butter shampoo, but really it's a co-wash. Every time I use this, my hair seems thicker than what it already is. Like, don't get me wrong, I already know I got thick hair, but this just makes my hair look so much more thicker and when I'm first using it, it just feels like a normal co-wash, like nothing really to write home about. But again, once I rinse this out of my hair, my hair just looks so thick. My curls just look so luscious and I think it has to do with the Shebe and the other um, Ayurvedic ingredients in here. My hair really does like this. Also, it, cl it cleanses your scalp as well. So I definitely would repurchase this. I bought this last Black Friday and so I don't know I can't remember if this is like a permanent thing, a seasonal thing, you know, Sultanicals throws products out here and there. But I definitely would repurchase this. I can't remember if I have another one of these in my stash. I know I bought two. I might have already gone through one of them and then now the second one. I can't remember, but I definitely would recommend this. If you are a girl or a guy that likes to co-wash, I, I highly recommend this. Dang, I've been recommending. I mean, I like what I like. I'm, I'm looking at the rest of the products and they are, spoiler alert, all things that I would pretty much recommend. <laughs> I did not use anything that I was just like meh about. Let's continue on. Um, Y'all, I'm so proud, so proud to get through this and to have this in the in an empties video. So this is Nature's Little Secret Irish Moss Styling Cream. This is a holy grail styling cream, y'all. My hair always looks amazing with this. It has moisture, but it also has hold. It's like a um, butter gel hybrid type of thing. It's as if you put gel on top of your hair, but you just don't have the crunch. It defines my curls. My my styles always look amazing with this. This is the 12 ounce bottle, y'all. And the fact that I went through this, that just shows you how much I love it. You can tell I've had this for a while because this is the older packaging. Do I recommend this? A hundred million gazillion percent. Okay, I recommend this. And I will absolutely repurchase this. I'm not in a rush though to repurchase it because again, stylers are like my kryptonite. They're so hard to go through. So I'm trying to get through some other stylers, but best believe once my pile starts dwindling down, we are repurchasing like two of these. Okay, that's how much I love this. And I hope y'all got your hands on this. For Black Friday because it's just it's just that girl since we're talking about nature's little secret I might as well just grab all the other nature's little secret products that I went through I also went through the avocado moisture cream this is something that I love to pair with the Irish moss um, styling cream this I use as a leave-in this gives me a little bit more moisture than the banana leave-in from nature's little secret so I definitely love to use this in the fall and the winter it makes my hair super moisturized again you can use this as a leave-in you can just use it as like a daily moisturizer super moisturizing on my hair i don't know how many times i said moisturizing but that's how freaking amazing this thing is this and the irish moss bomb combo definitely try it out you will not regret it and then the next nature's little secret product that i use is the fenugreek detangling pre-poo. This is another holy grail pre-poo of mine. It has a great ingredients, great slip. I'm able to detangle my hair. It provides moisture before I shampoo. If I'm using like a more drying shampoo, this definitely protects my hair and doesn't allow the shampoo to dry out my hair. So absolutely love this and we'll repurchase this. We got two main crush products. So the first one is the Main Crush Magical Butter. And this is just a butter that I like to seal on my hair with, especially during the fall and winter when it's cooler. Absolutely love this butter. It works with pretty much all my products. Really love this. It took me a while to go through this. I've had this for a while. So again, a little bit goes a long way. This is from the Enchanted Collection, which is um, a seasonal collection. It is out right now. 
So Enchanted Collection comes out during the fall and winter, so you can definitely pick this up. Love this and absolutely would repurchase this. I do have a Taylor Beauty Butter that I picked up a while ago that I need to go ahead and get through. So I'm gonna try to get through that, but once I get through that, I definitely will repurchase this. Next up is the Fairy Godmother Leave-In. This is also from the Enchanted Collection. I've tried a few of Main Crush's leave-in conditioners and I haven't been the biggest fan, but this one I do like. It's pretty good. Is it a holy grail for me? Um, not really exactly like you don't have to run out and get this but i do like this and i would use it again but i'm in no rush to repurchase it we have two curls and potions products first is the scalp potion i love this i've repurchased this like quite a few times i like to just add this to my scalp every other night help circulate blood flow and promote hair growth love this and definitely will repurchase this this is my last bottle currently i'm using something else for scalp care which i did do a video on it's from hh cosmetics and it's their follicle stimulant and I've been using that and really loving that. Trying to use it for like three, four months or so. So working on that and really like it, I do have a review on it, so I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards for you. While I'm using that, I am gonna take a break from this, but I think I will kind of switch uh, between the two because I really do like the HH Cosmetic follicle stimulant and then I also like the scalp potion. So I can just see myself switching between the two. And then the next product from Curls and Potions, we have the Rice Water Acai Magic Rinse. I do have one of these in my stash and I'm super excited about that because y'all, this thing makes my hair so freaking soft. I love this. Y'all have been talking about this for quite some time now and this year is the first year that I was able to try this out. Love this. We'll repurchase this once I'm done with the other one in my stash. Just, I love this. The next styler that I was able to get through is from Taylor Beauty and this is their Flexible Curl Potion Mousse. This is probably hands down my favorite mousse. If you need something that is going to give you hold for your perm rod sets, for your flexi rod sets, this is that girl. I've done like comparison videos using other mousses compared to this and this always gives me like very sleek, very shiny, very soft but has hold type of style. This is going to get you right every time you use it. If you are someone that likes to do perm rod sets, flexi rod sets, you need this in your life. It also has that key ingredient that my hair loves, hibiscus. Love this, we'll definitely repurchase this. I have a few more mousses that I need to get through first, but best believe I am repurchasing this. Love this stuff and you need to get your hands on it. We've already kind of mentioned this brand, but I already have two empties from HH Cosmetics. They look crazy because I've been using these like crazy. First we have the HH Cosmetics Multi-Use Purpose Oil Blend really love this i use this for so many things i use this for oiling my scalp i use this on top of deep conditioners when i'm deep conditioning my hair i use this in the loc method especially during the fall and the winter i really do try to implement the loc method just to make sure that the moisture is locked in i've used this for so many things this is a lightweight oil and you can kind of get carried away with it because it is so lightweight but i'm telling you even though it's lightweight a little bit goes a long way and i already have um a couple of backups of it oh i forget ha's cosmetics be having like the scientific names and i don't be knowing the scientific names i'll double check um and i'll let y'all know down below in the description box but i'm pretty sure this is coconut oil free so if you are sensitive to coconut oil this is definitely a good oil to try out and then the next empty I have from them is the Moisturizing Thickening Gel, which even though it is a gel, you also can use this as a pre-poo, and that's how I've been using it. It has great slip. It's very moisturizing. It also defines my curls, and I do plan on trying this for a wash and go. It says medium hold, so I'm a little bit iffy about it. Y'all know I like my strong, strong holds, but there's been some medium hold gels 
that actually surprised me so we're gonna give this um, a shot in a video coming up soon I definitely would repurchase this and already have a few of these in my stash to go through so I highly recommend this I also have a coupon code down below for you to save on your HH Cosmetics purchase. It is a Netherlands based brand, but I believe if you purchase 60 US dollars worth of product or more, then you can get $10 flat rate shipping, which is really good for international. And then I believe if you spend 100 US dollars or more, you get free international shipping. So really love that. And I also have a coupon code for curls and potions that I forgot to tell y'all about, but I believe that's still active. Y'all can try it on and see, but I have a coupon code down below for curls and potions if you want to check out some of their products. But yes, y'all, that is it for my products. I went through quite a bit, got some stylers in here, a bunch of deep conditioners, just all kinds of stuff and I'm super excited that I have gotten through a lot of these products. These products will be listed down below just in case you want to check them out. Have you been working on your stash? You know, it's hashtag use your stash up, especially since I didn't go too crazy for Black Friday. Um, I think I can really continue to, you know, make some dents in my stash and I'm very happy about that. But if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below in the comment section. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching this video. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!